Hey there. Thanks for tuning in today for a demo of Qualaroo, the only user research tool created for UX designers. Our goal is to make user research as simple and easy as possible so that you can have confidence in your design decisions. I'm Michael Nadelman, Director of Customer Success here at Qualaroo, and today I'll walk you through how to set up your Qualaroo account, assemble your first nudge, and use the Qualaroo dashboard to collect and leverage user insights. So welcome to the Qualaroo dashboard. Here you'll have every bit of information necessary to collect user insights from your users. We'll show implementation across each environment, including websites for desktop and mobile web implementation, new nudge for prototypes, which allows you to gather user information directly from within your prototype or custom URL, and to support it across Envision, Marvel, Axure, Figma, Adobe XD, and other custom URLs. We also support implementation across SDK for iOS and in Android for in-app implementation, as well as link nudges to help you gather information from email campaigns. Now here we can see each of our environments below, including Qualaroo.com for desktop and mobile web implementation, prototypes, Qualaroo SDK for iOS and Android, and link nudges. First, we'll go through the implementation for desktop and mobile web. For desktop and mobile web implementation, we do leverage a Qualaroo JavaScript snippet that is unique to each domain. In order to identify this snippet, you can select install code here. And if you are not the person in charge of installing third-party snippets on site, you can email this snippet directly to your developer and they will be able to install it for you. However, if you are in charge of installing third-party snippets on site, you can paste this code in the website source code or GTM, copy this snippet for Qualaroo.com directly to the clipboard, and paste it right after the body tag on every page of your site. And remember, you only need to do this once in order to implement Qualaroo on site. Now, please note that each snippet will be unique to the particular domain. Once you've installed the Qualaroo snippet, the next step will be to create a new survey. However, before we could leave the dashboard, I do want to mention that your account will have unlimited user seats and all user seats can be included directly from the dashboard here by selecting users. In addition to this, every Qualaroo account comes with a dedicated customer success manager to help you through every step of your nudge and insight gathering process. Finally, I'd like to mention some of the integrations available with Qualaroo. When you navigate to the settings option here, you can see quite a few of the options here, including with Segment, Google and Adobe Analytics, and Intercom. We also support session recording, which includes Full Story and Session Cam. And Qualaroo also supports the ability to support SPA frameworks if your website does function on an SPA framework. Now our next step will be to create a new survey. As a first step, we'll navigate to the top right here and select Create New. There will be a few pre-populated templates, including Net Promoter Score or Lead Generation Forms. There's also an announcement, which is a simple message screen. And Qualaroo also includes overlays, including Call to Action, and email collector overlays that leverage a JPEG or PNG file of your choosing. Now, Net Promoter Score, Lead Generation Forms, and Announcement Pages all are supported within a traditional nudge type. So we'll select New Survey from Scratch, and then we'll select our channel. We can select from Desktop or Mobile Web Implementation. We can also select Link Nudges or SDK, again, for iOS and Android, or for Nudge for Prototypes. For this demonstration, we will select desktop web. We'll then select our domain to be qualaroo.com and hit create. In addition to changing the title for any particular implementation needs or organizational purposes you may have, you can also change the question text, display a description, and place that description before or after the question to help supplement that question. And of course, change the answer type dependent on what type of information you're looking for. For this type of question, did you find what you're looking for? A simple radio button will be necessary. Here we might want to add a different option here as well. So I can change the answer text to yes easily. 
yes with difficulty. And I can add another answer here to no. Now the benefit to radio button options will be that you can change the branching associated to ensure that we follow up with a more pointed question to our user based on the sentiment provided. If I'm interested in asking users who answered no a separate question, I can go ahead and add a step here. Now, a few options that we have included are to redirect to a URL, which I'll detail in just a moment. Start a chat if you do have an integration with a chat tool that also integrates with Qualru. A lead generation form or a message screen. But for this purpose, we'll choose another question screen here. Now, what question did I want to ask? What were you looking for but couldn't find? If I have a few answer options that might be selected from our users, I can input them with the single answer radio button option by saying pricing, product information, or other. And please keep in mind that with an other option, we would recommend having a small or a large freeform comment option to help gather insights around what that other option is. Now for pricing, if I'm not only looking to gather information around where we could improve on our information on site, I might also want to help ensure that that user reaches the pricing page. If that is a goal, I can easily add a step, select redirect to a URL, and make sure that this URL is selected as Qualaroo's pricing page. I could then navigate right here to pricing. If selected, continue to the redirect to qualaroo.com slash pricing to ensure that they reach exactly where they were trying to go. Now, it's also important to note that we can follow up with other ways other than just no. So if selected, continue to, what were you looking for, what couldn't find? And let's say that if selected, continue to, what encouraged you to visit your site? I might want to ask a completely separate question, which can include anything from multiple answer selections for checkboxes, single answer selection for radio button or drop down implementation, text based answer with a larger field or a single line matrix, date, and net promoter score. Once I have completely successfully created my nudge flow, the next step will be to target our nudge. The targeting tab will allow you to completely customize to whom, where, and how often your nudge appears. The first option will be to select where on site the nudge appears. You can use a simple URL targeting option if you are looking to target only qualaroo.com or one page or the entirety of your site, which can be done so with a slash star command. If you're looking for a more granular view of targeting on site, you can, through the advanced URL targeting option, select as many subdomains and paths as you'd like to show or avoid showing a Qualaroo nudge upon. Now, please note, that the advanced URL targeting does leverage regular expressions. Now, if you aren't comfortable with regular expressions, not only does Qualaroo have a robust help center detailing when and how to use regular expressions, but you also have your dedicated customer success manager to help you ensure that you have the exact targeting that you need to be successful. Once you've determined where on site, the next step will be to determine who sees this nudge. The first option can be to target your users based on a simple percentage from 1% to 100%. Now this can also be used in conjunction with other targeting options such as behavior. This can include if the user came from anywhere on the web, came directly to your site, came to your site and the referring domain is or is not of your choosing, or came to your site from a search engine. You can also pinpoint only returning visitors only visitors who have visited a certain amount of your pages on site, which is very helpful for findability and usability, since you want to have the user to have some experience on site before you ask for feedback. And you can also target based on other surveys on Qualaroo.com. Now, Qualaroo does find our biggest strength in the advanced targeting options and advanced audience segmentation. Our first option will be the identity API or the identity feature which will allow you to separate your audience based on if the identity information is known or the user is logged in, the identity information is unknown or the user is not logged in, or both. You can also target users who are assigned to an Optimizely experiment if you do have an Optimizely account. You can also target users who are in certain geographic locations, 
And my personal favorite custom property targeting option will be the ability to segment your audience based on any attribute on site. Now this can be done so through any type of attribute, including persona information, such as if the user is using a particular set of features, if they've logged, logged in a certain amount of times, or any other information that is available from the sign up process. This can also be used to target users based on actions taken on site, such as a clicked button. You'll also be able to segment your audience based on cookies that are present in the user's browser to either display or not display when all or any of those cookies are present. Finally, you can use the identity information to whitelist or blacklist a set of users you would like to show or completely avoid showing the nudge to. And you can whitelist and blacklist based on IP addresses as well. Once you've determined who sees this nudge, the next steps will be to determine when, how often, and how long the nudge appears. You can show this nudge immediately after the page loads, after a user has been viewing the page for a certain amount of time. Our best recommendation would be around five to 10 seconds, but of course it does depend on the use case. Qualru also supports exit intent. So if the user looks like they're about to abandon the page and their mouse reaches near the URL field, a Qualaru nudge will appear and prompt that user for feedback just before they leave. And please keep in mind that this option is available for desktop only at this time. We can also support the ability to fire the nudge when a user scrolls halfway down the page. For how often options, we can show only once per visitor, continue showing until a visitor provides a response, knowing that a response can also be a minimization of the nudge, and we will not ask for users to provide feedback who have indicated that they're not willing at this time, or continue showing even if a visitor has responded, which is very helpful for persistent feedback type options. We can also set the nudge to display recurrently every certain amount of days if the user has responded or has declined to take your survey, which is exceptionally helpful for benchmark heuristics such as net promoter score and customer satisfaction. You can also manually activate and deactivate the nudge, show the nudge from a particular time period to an ending time period, and automatically deactivate when the nudge reaches a certain amount of responses. You can also send yourself an email either every time you receive a response, every time you receive 10 responses, a daily or a weekly digest, or just one email so you know that feedback is flowing. Once you've successfully targeted your nudge, the next step will be to select design options. From your design options, you can select from a simple dark or light color scheme or create your own color scheme and through hexadecimal colors, either through the color picker or through the hexadecimal code, change all features from the background to the check mark icon at the very end. You can also determine on which area of your screen the nudge appears, all the way from the bottom right to the top left side, which is very helpful to avoid other calls to action that might be on page. And you can start the nudge in a minimized state and provide some text for context to understand that this nudge is for feedback. While you can use the Qualaroo branding, you can also suppress that very simply or use a custom logo of your choosing. For full customization of the Qualaroo nudge, you can leverage the design API and implement custom CSS to completely change every little bit about the nudge that you prefer. Once we've edited the design of this option, we'll go ahead and save this and we're ready to implement on site. We'll navigate back to the dashboard and when we're ready, we can select this option here, select OK, and as soon as this nudge appears on site, you will immediately begin gathering impressions and responses. Once you've gathered insights, it's very important to review your data. That's why Qualer has been working very hard to create the beta reporting dashboard for enhanced data visualization. This is an example of net promoter score and how you can view this data from a weekly, daily, weekly, or monthly trend, and you can completely customize this graph by taking away any other attributes that you prefer. Below, we can see verbatim feedback 
run through Qualaroo's IBM Watson integration to allow for sentiment analysis on all freeform text. Sentiment analysis will give you more information around negative to positive remarks from negative one to one across sentiment, emotions, and verbatim keywords associated with each feedback. The verbatim responses associated with all of this data above will be available below. This is another example of freeform text and other values assigned to it. And below we can see a representation of a checkbox answer and option that allows you to see the percentage and numbers associated with each selected answer along with any type of freeform text tied into one of the options. Above, you can also see additional filtering options here. And you can also see this information from an individual response. So you can see additional metadata around each response and each separate response provided by that user. To share this quality feedback, you can either share a report, select a few options that match your specific criteria, or export your report to CSV. Qualaroo also supports export by REST reporting API if you do have the interest in pushing your Qualaroo data to another endpoint, such as a data lake or other visualization tool that also supports REST reporting. We hope you've enjoyed this demo of the Qualaroo dashboard. For any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at and we'll be sure to help you out.